You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. Most writers and radio show hosts know that to connect with your fans, you need to do more than just write books or record the latest podcasts. There are many different elements that go into forming an online platform, but there are also many hidden traps. To make matters worse, solid advice on how to survive the muddy waters is scarce. In the book Hidden Traps, I talk about some of the important issues of working with an online platform, highlighting traps that could put your physical or internet security at risk, or be harmful to your reputation. Are your social media posts just links with a few disjointed words making you look like someone who can't complete a sentence? Did your new website cost you more than you anticipated? Are you leaking your personal contact details across the web without even knowing it? Then you need Hidden Traps. Hidden Traps is now available in paperback and ebook from a variety of retailers, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Kobo. Visit blackwolfpublications.com for more details. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-553-8687. That's 800-553-8687. Again, 800-553-8687. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com. Everyone loves liberty. Our rights come from God, not the government. So why are you letting other people tell you what's best for your health care? Exercise your freedom with Liberty HealthShare. Liberty HealthShare is a community of people who voluntarily share one another's medical costs. Liberty HealthShare is founded on the idea that most people truly want to help one another. Healthcare sharing allows members to do just that as a true community that supports one another in times of need. Liberty believes people should make decisions for themselves and their families. Members are able to take back the freedom to make their own decisions about their health care. Freedom from guilt or doubt about how your money is used. You have the freedom to direct your health care, not to be dictated to by bureaucrats. Stop letting others tell you what to do and join a community of like-minded people. Exercise your freedom. Join Liberty HealthShare and take back the control of your health care while helping those around you. Call Liberty at 855-58-LIBERTY. Again, that's 855-58-L-I-B-E-R-T-Y for more information. Or you can check them out at libertyhealthshare.org. Again, that's libertyhealthshare.org. My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm, but even then he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq, Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree, too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible. Affordable. Relevant. Call 800-910-1370. At St. Jude, a family never sees a bill at all. It's like the world has been lifted off of your shoulders. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Finding cures, saving children. Learn more at stjude.org. Sometimes riders feel lost, unsure why a passage may not be working. 
takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our writing into full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable writers to develop and grow, offering manuscript critiques and line edits through a mentoring editorial style. We also offer assistance on generating a writer's bio for your websites. Black Wolf Editorial Services, nurturing your writing into maturity. For a full list of services, visit blackwolfeditorial.com. You're listening to the Spark Radio Network, internet radio like you've never heard before. Innovation, creativity, and imagination are all said to begin with a spark. So fasten your seatbelt and take the ride of your life and listen for the spark. I keep swinging for the fences. It's like this heart is defenseless. Against a passion that's pumping through my veins. Hello, America. This is Rick Robinson, host of the America Off the Rails show, right here on KLRNRadio.com. You're about 60 seconds away from the beginning of the show. I have a very special guest with us this evening again, Mike Velarde, the uh, retired federal officer who was actually with us uh, last Friday. Is actually coming on again tonight. Actually, on a bit of a conversation we had while we were spinning up the show, I was just made aware that there was another incident. So we're actually going to be opening the show talking about that. So stay tuned. We've got a lot of stuff coming at coming your way right here on America Off the Rails, starting in just about. 60 seconds. Don't go away. Everyone loves living. Our rights come from God, not the government. So why are you letting other people tell you what's best for your health care? Exercise your freedom with Liberty HealthShare. Liberty HealthShare is a community of people who voluntarily share one another's medical costs. Liberty HealthShare is founded on the idea that most people truly want to help one another. Healthcare sharing allows members to do just that as a true community that supports one another in times of need. Liberty believes people should make decisions for themselves and their families. Members are able to take back the freedom to make their own decisions about their health care. Freedom from guilt or doubt about how your money is used. You have the freedom to direct your health care not to be dictated to by bureaucrats. Stop letting others tell you what to do and join a community of like-minded people. Exercise your freedom. Join Liberty HealthShare and take back the control of your health care while helping those around you. Call Liberty at 855-58-LIBERTY. Again, that's 855-58-L-I-B-E-R-T-Y for more information. Or you can check them out at libertyhealthshare.org. Again, that's libertyhealthshare.org. Keep on doing what you do, Rick. You're my favorite host. Favorite host. Favorite host. You know this freedom. Stand together, there's nothing that we can achieve. This nation of people standing as one in the name of liberty. Hello, America. Welcome to the program. I am Rick Robinson. We're live right now on KLRNRadio.com, where liberty and reason still reign. We do this thing every Tuesday through Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern, right here live. Show's also available on AMFM247.com, the Lanterns <laughs> Radio Network, and several other affiliates, including CRNDigitalTalk.com. Also available on just about every other podcast site known to man. I'm just going to go over the high notes real quick. So that would include iHeart, Stitcher, SoundCloud, FM Player, iTunes, Google Play Music, Blueberry, Pocket Cast, and about half a dozen others. Um, we do have a guest with us this evening. I'll be bringing him in in just a couple minutes. But first, I have a little bit of something that I want to say. So more and more information about this recent shooting in uh, Broward County area is actually coming to light. So it was bad enough when there was a single officer who had opted to not enter the school during a shootout. But now more information has come to light about the fact that there were actually three officers that when uh, the local PD arrived on scene, they were actually posted up behind their cars with their weapons drawn in a defensive position. Now, 
Um, I don't mean to tell tales out of school or, or talk out of turn, but I do have some experience in this area. Some of you may know. Um, and I have a feeling this was a political statement being made by the Broward County Sheriff's Department because of the fact that that particular school board was basically hemming them up, or for those of you that don't use those type of terms, tying their hands um, from being able to do their jobs. Now, I'm not saying that with 100% certainty, but I know after having some experience in doing that type of work for a long time, that is not that uncommon of a thing for uh, the higher-ups in a police department to get rather frustrated when they're there to do a job and the administrative people won't allow them to do so. And again, I'm not trying to talk out of turn and I'm not telling you that's definitely what happened. But the more we find out about this, the more concerned I am because it went from one officer basically failure to perform their duties and now we have three separate officers that were posted up with their weapons drawn in a, in a defensive position, meaning they were ready to defend themselves should it be necessary, but they seem to be unwilling to defend the people that were in the school. I'll let you guys simmer on that. We've got to take a break. We'll be right back with my guest here in just about 60 seconds, so don't go away. Why are you letting other people tell you what's best for your health care? Exercise your freedom with Liberty HealthShare. Liberty HealthShare is a community of people who voluntarily share one another's medical costs. Liberty HealthShare is founded on the idea that most people truly want to help one another. Healthcare sharing allows members to do just that as a true community that supports one another in times of need. Liberty believes people should make decisions for themselves and their families. Members are able to take back the freedom to make their own decisions about their health care. Freedom from guilt or doubt about how your money is used. You have the freedom to direct your health care, not to be dictated to by bureaucrats. Stop letting others tell you what to do and join a community of like-minded people. Exercise your freedom. Join Liberty HealthShare and take back the control of your health care while helping those around you. Call Liberty at 855-58-LIBERTY. Again, that's 855-58-L-I-B-E-R-T-Y for more information, or you can check them out at libertyhealthshare.org. Again, that's libertyhealthshare.org. Welcome back, folks. This is America Off the Rails. We're live right now on KLRNRadio.com. I'd like to take a moment to welcome a returning guest to the show. You may recognize him here in just a minute. He was actually on with us last Friday. Um, I've actually started calling him Mike the Fed because that's what Jesse calls him. So, Mike, welcome back to the show. How are you, sir? <laughs> hey, Rick. I'm great. Thanks for having me again. I appreciate it. Not a problem, sir. You are welcome back anytime. All right, so I know that we had talked about when we had you back on again, we were kind of going to change gears and talk about some other things that were going on, but I know that when you and I were connecting right before the show, you had mentioned that there was another incident and that you were kind of getting some information about that. So if you don't mind, I'd kind of like to start there. Yeah, Port St. Lucie uh, Elementary School, there was, a, there was a gunman who didn't get off a shot. Um, I know, I know some, um, a friend of mine is up there, she's two kids in the school and the kids didn't return on the buses. So they went up to the school to see what happened. There was, there was a lot of police officers, large law enforcement presence. Uh, the, the school was on lockdown. They had, they had a lockdown, the high school next to it, which was close by. They apprehended the shooter and he did not shoot anybody. So thank God for that. But, um, uh, another, another incident with somebody, um, going into a school with a gun. So, and, and I'm, no, go ahead. Sorry. I, I was going to say tomorrow, I'm sure on the news, we'll have more details as to what happened. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. And of course, it'll be one of those things where everybody will rush to judgment and it'll be days before we actually get the whole story, which is kind of what we're finding with the uh, recent incident in Broward County area. Uh, one of the things that's kind of disturbed me, and I kind of opened the show with it a bit, was first it went from nobody knew for sure where the school resource officer was, and they just assumed he was somewhere else on, on campus. Then the story came out that the school resource officer was actually there and had opted to not go in and engage the shooter. Now I just heard a, a, an update today that apparently there were three Broward County officers on scene 
all of which were in defensive positions behind their cars with their weapons drawn, but had opted not to go into the school. Um, and again, I don't really want to talk out of turn, but hearing what I've heard about the way the school district was giving them such a hard time about doing their jobs, I can't help but wonder if this was kind of a political statement or a decision of some kind that they made that, you know, they didn't want to get tied up with being told that they were doing things wrong and then the school district just didn't seem to really even want them there based on some of the reports that we've seen, which again can be a pretty dangerous situation because nobody wants the cops there until they need them and then they're mad because they don't do anything. Because, yeah, that's well, just... Well, you know, I, 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 I think what we see more and more is, is, is the schools tend to be very liberal, more so than any any other institution we have in this country, especially the colleges. And uh, law enforcement tends to be more conservative. And, um, uh, I, I mean, hopefully that wasn't the case because when you're in law enforcement, you, 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 you're supposed to protect those kids. And, you know, those cops certainly made a big mistake by not going in and engaging that shooter. Yeah, I mean, my thing with it, you know, and, and say what you want, and even I've said, you know, that even in a situation, in a similar situation, I am about 99% sure that I would have gone in and tried to engage the shooter, having been in not exactly the same situations, but, but in situations where I've had, had to run towards danger instead of running away from it. So I've actually done that because at some point your training just kind of kicks in. It was one thing to say, well, it was one police officer versus a guy with an AR-15 and how, who knows how many other weapons who opted to take a defensive position. But now we're finding out that there, are th there were three separate officers that apparently were on the scene within a minute or two of the incident starting. The incident apparently lasted for six minutes, which gave them four minutes to do something, anything other than take up a defensive position behind their car with their weapons drawn. I can't imagine three separate officers all not following training. Because, I mean, training becomes instinct at, at some point. I mean, I, I caught myself doing it before I would even think about it. Like, I would hear, I would be on an area and would hear a loud noise sounding like a gunshot or whatever the case may be. And I found myself running towards the, the loud noise, whatever it may be, before I ever even knew what it was. Because that, that was what I was trained to do. So I can't imagine three separate officers just deciding that they weren't going to engage. I really would like to talk to them and find out what was running through their head at that moment because that doesn't make sense to me. The only thing I could think of off the top of my head is that they knew he had an assault rifle and that the two two three that round would go through most of the bulletproof vests that they have. If they were if they were in Kevlar three A Kevlar, that two two round would probably pe penetrate it. They would need something like Spectra Shield or or need the, um, the, the, the other plating, the armor plating where, that they have for military vests, which most cops don't have. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's honestly one of the things that was kind of running through my head was maybe they were afraid that their vest wouldn't have held up to it. But I just, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, and again, I've not been in exactly the same situation, so I cannot say with 100% certainty that I wouldn't have done the same thing. But I would like to think if I was there that I would have done something else. Now, the, the the other reason that I kind of bring this up is because we're comparing and contrasting some folks that have had training. They, they, they've, they've had all the training they needed to do to be able to cope with a situation like this, and yet they opted to take a defensive position behind their cars. We also had a coach who didn't have a sidearm of any kind, didn't have any way to fight back, but yet gave his life shielding children. How much different could that situation have been? And this is kind of a rhetorical question, but you're, you're welcome to chime in on it too. But how much different could this situ that situation have been if the coach had had a firearm, since the law enforcement officers oh, opted to post up outside instead of going in? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I don't know all the details what happened there with those law enforcement officers, but certainly, but certainly, uh, if, if that is the facts, I mean, they they they, those, they they could have caused the death of a couple of those kids. They could have shouldn't have been able to stop them before before it was able to do all that damage. I mean, and that's horrific. Um, I mean, I don't I don't know I don't know all the training that the Broward Sheriff Department gives their their officers, but I can tell you as a federal agent, we 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 did have experience with munitions training. And simunitions training is where, where basically you're in a situation where they're, uh, you know, it's like a paintball type thing, but they shoot at you, you know, and you have to take cover and, and they teach you the difference between cover and concealment and how to respond when somebody's shooting at you. 
you know, to shoot back accurately to, to, you know, just to get the feel of what it's like when you have ammunition, when you have rounds coming your way. Yeah, we, we had a similar, and, we had a similar training here. Um, there was a, there's a officer training facility that, uh, we used both when I was in uh, private security, private investigations, and also when I actually did do some Leo work. Um, and one of the things that they did to try to dispel the rumor of there being such thing as a routine traffic stop, they actually had a training session where you're coming up on a car to do a traffic stop and they had an airsoft pistol. And the goal was to see how many times you didn't get shot before you left the scene. Airsoft pistols hurt, I'm just gonna say. <laughs> right, 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 exactly. Same with simulations, exactly. The point is, when you get hit, you're gonna feel it. And and that's that's good training. That's good training because once you get used to, you know, you, you, you know, you're gonna initially you might make some mistakes, but then you're gonna be taught what to do, how to how to how to how to maneuver, how to find the cover position, how to return fire from a cover position. Um, and I, I mean, I'm I'm actually baffled why why three cops would stand outside knowing can and they can hear gunshots going on inside. That's baffling to me. That never should have happened. Yeah, I mean, like I said, to me, training becomes instinct, and I've had that same kind of training, and I can't imagine myself not at least running towards the situation long enough to find out exactly what's going on and see if I can do anything to stop it, much less just posting up outside. Um, but when we come back, I actually, because I promised the next time we came on, I wanted to talk to you about some of the things that we had talked about on uh, while we were on break that other folks couldn't hear about the last time. But we're up against a break. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. We'll be back in a couple of minutes with my guest, uh, Mike DeFed. We'll be back. My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm, but even then he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq, Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, Think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree, too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible, affordable, relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, 
dollars, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. All right, we are back. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robbins. I'm here with my guest, uh, Mike Velarde, or otherwise known as Mike the Fed. Um, and I'm sorry, I may actually be mispronouncing your name today. I actually don't have it in front of me. So if I've been butchering it, I apologize. Um, but anyway, um, when, when we were on break last week, you had mentioned something that actually kind of caught my attention. And I had no idea about this until you said something. But you had mentioned that you actually hosted a show in New York for a while, a TV show. Was that yeah. right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the Mike Velarde show. I had a cable show, and and it was it was real interesting because when you have a TV show like that, you get some really interesting guests. And one of the people that I had on that show was a former former PLO terrorist, Kamal Salim, and he was uh, the number three guy in the PLO. And uh, he came to America to commit what they call cultural jihad, and he um, ended up getting into an almost fatal car accident, and. And, and and when he he came through it and became a Christian, and I, I actually did like eight shows with him, and then I had another um, former um, another former terrorist named Zakharani uh, Anani, who was um, was a, was a Lebanese. Um, he got killed over two hundred people. He he was the leader of a of a of a terrorist group there. Uh, they would call themselves freedom fighters. We would call them terror groups, and um, I, I, so I, that's how I kind of learned about Islam was through those two individuals. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and I and I wrote a book. I wrote a book called The Time of His Coming, and it's you can buy it on Amazon. You can buy it. Um, you can you can buy it in bookstores. You can go to thetimeofhiscoming.com. dot com. And I took what I learned about Islam from these two former terrorists and the prophecies that are in the Quran. Now, people don't know this, but 9-11 started the third jihad. It is the final jihad before the caliphate comes to bring the entire world under Islamic rule. Okay? Now, if you remember ISIS, the guy who was running ISIS, Baghdadi claimed to be the caliphate. The ruin of the reasons he did that was under under uh, under the Quranic prophecies, he, everybody has to obey whatever the caliphate says. The caliphate is like Allah in the flesh, kind of like the Catholics believe that the Pope, you know, is is like the vigor of Christ, um, and Christians believe that, of course, that Jesus is is the Son of God. Okay, that's what the caliphate's going to be. So knowing. That the time frame, so here's the time frame, this is you're going to find interesting. They believe that within 20 years of 9-11, so 20 years from 9-11 of, of 2001 takes us to three years from now, you know, 9-11 of 2021. They believe that that caliphate will be in place. And in order for, to prepare for his coming, the Muslims have migrated to every country all over the world and outpopulated the the citizens of that country. So in other words, when they came to America, America, the average American family has two kids, they would have eight. So within one generation, they'd be able to have such sizable numbers as to take over those countries. And we see what's happened in Europe. We see France, England, Germany, the Netherlands, run over by large Muslim populations. 
Yeah. It's shocking, I'm, isn't it? I, yeah, I mean, honestly, that's kind of, I'm just sitting here, I'm trying to think of something to say, because, I mean, there's nothing you can really say to refute that. I mean, the most most of Europe has been completely overrun by Muslims. And um, they actually, if you if you read their publications and you actually listen to people that are in those countries, they actually openly admit it. And, and honestly, that's one of the reasons why Great Britain had such a harsh pull towards the Brexit vote was because they felt like the, <laughs> the EU wasn't keeping their interest at heart as far as, you know, because they didn't really like a lot of the things that had been happening with a lot of the European countries in regards to the open borders, open immigration policies, everything else. Um, and I think a lot, I think it, a lot of it has to do with that the the rise of terror attacks in Europe the the rise of you know uh, what they what they call no go zones which are basically you know little pockets of Sharia where they actually have Muslims that patrol the streets and the Sharia law is implemented there whether anybody wants it to be that way or not because the cops don't bother to go there anymore because they they've run them off. And that's one of the things that nobody's right. really taking into account. We already have those things starting here. Dearborn, Michigan yeah. is a prime example of exactly. an area that has been – that is slowly starting to turn to Sharia compliant. They actually have now gotten permission to start playing the call to prayer. Uh, they actually there, – there was video shown a couple of years ago where they were actually uh, pelting Christians with objects at a fair um, when they were trying to get information – about the prophet and a few other things. They eventually got so tired of them coming back and asking them questions. They just started throwing things at them to get them to leave. And ultimately it was the Christians that were almost charged with trespassing, even though it was a public fair and all they were doing was going and doing exactly what the holders of the booth wanted them to do, which is the, the booth plainly said, ask me about Allah. So they did and they basically eventually got attacked and then were made to leave by local law enforcement. Well, let me, let me take that one step further so that every, your listening audience can know that you're true. I'm going to give a number. This number is for Michigan EBT. If you want food stamps in Michigan, you call this number. It's 888-678-8914. It's 888-678-8914. When you call that number, they give you the option of getting your food stamps in English, in Spanish, and in Arabic. So they can come over right from Syria, any of those countries, and Arabia, and they don't have to worry about knowing English to get food stamps and going on the welfare system in Michigan. Fun How's times. How's that for shock? That, yeah, actually, that's you're not the first person I've heard that from, but it's been a while since anybody's brought that up, and I'd actually kind of forgotten that a lot of the social service instructions in Michigan are actually uh, also available in Arabic. All right, well, we are past the bottom of the hour. We're going to have to take another really quick break. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson, back with my guest, Mike Velarde, here in just a few. So why are you letting other people tell you what's best for your health care? Exercise your freedom with Liberty Health Share. Liberty Health Share is a community of people who voluntarily share one another's medical costs. Liberty Health Share is founded on the idea that most people truly want to help one another. Healthcare sharing allows members to do just that as a true community that supports one another in times of need. Liberty believes people should make decisions for themselves and their families. Members are able to take back the freedom to make their own decisions about their health care. Freedom from guilt or doubt about how your money is used. You have the freedom to direct your health care, not to be dictated to by bureaucrats. Stop letting others tell you what to do and join a community of like-minded people. Exercise your freedom. Join Liberty HealthShare and take back the control of your health care while helping those around you. Call Liberty at 855-58-LIBERTY. Again, that's 855-58-L-I-B-E-R-T-Y for more information, or you can check them out at libertyhealthshare.org. Again, that's libertyhealthshare.org. My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm. But even then, he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq. Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree, too. 
It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible. Affordable. Relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 of pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. All right, folks, welcome back. This is America Off the Rails. My, oh, my, we're already through the bottom of the hour, and seems like I, it's like I, I feel like we just started 20 seconds ago, but I do have my guest, Mike Velarde. So if you've missed it, in the beginning of the show, we were getting a bit of his uh, feedback again like we did on the previous show in regards to the recent gun incidents, things like that. We're going to actually round out the show with topics that we had just brought up before the uh, the bottom of the hour break, because for those of you who didn't know, uh, Mike was actually a, a TV host in New York, and actually he had uh, done some pretty interesting interviews in regards to Muslim takeover in both Europe and America. So I'm going to turn the mic back over to him at this point, and the rest of the show is basically yours, brother. So talk about whatever you want, and I'll just take breaks when we need to take them. <laughs> okay. All right. Great. That's a big introduction. Okay. So, so as I was telling you before, and I'll, I'll tell your audience, um, I gave out that number for Michigan because they're, they're, Kamal had explained to me when he came over to this country back in the 80s, they had um, – well, let me go back. He was the number three guy in the PLO, um, and – Back in the 1970s, they, him and two other PLO members went to see the king of Saudi Arabia. And they walked in with the Koran. And they pulled out the verses in the Koran where it says that you have to support jihad. If you are a king or a leader of a country and you're a Muslim country, you have to support jihad either with men or with money. So they brought the Koran to the king and they said, King, do you believe in the Quran? And he said, yes. He says, here's what it says. Now, are you going to support us with men or money? And they then said, well, if you decide not to support us with men or money, we are going to sabotage every oil well in your kingdom. So think about it real hard. So the king said, give me a week. 
And a week later, they came back, and the king said, we're going to give you money. And since then, they've given billions of dollars to the cause, okay? When a Muslim family from Saudi Arabia comes to the United States, they're given $100,000 as an incentive to come here. If the woman wears the jihad, they're given an extra 1000 a month. So that would make Islam commonplace. You see, I asked Kamal during my TV show with him, I said, Kamal, what is the Achilles heel? What have you found coming here, seeing America, bringing over, you know, other Muslims to America? What is the Achilles heel, America's Achilles heel, that you think that you guys can come to America and and, and over for Islam? And he said to me, Mike, America's Achilles heel is diversity. You see, they will give Islam the same respect as they will Judaism or Christianity. They don't realize that Islam is here to take over. We're not here to play nice in the sandbox. We're here to take over your country. And what we're going to do when we get here is we're going to immediately start to outpopulate your population. Kamal is one of 14 children. His cousins, he has over, he has 176 cousins. So just think about that in one generation. His parents had 14 kids, and those 14 kids had an offspring of 176 people altogether. My, my parents had three kids, okay? My brother didn't have any children. My sister didn't have any children. I had one son. So you have my one son, and you get 176 on the other side, Muslims. Think about that. Think about how that can be done. And now wow. we see in Michigan, we are kowtowing, giving out food stamps in Arabic to make it easy for when these people come over, when we set them up on their welfare rolls, take care of them. If you look at England, and you look at the number of Muslims on welfare and food stamps, it's enormous. They don't want their women to work. They want them to stay home, have babies, raise the children, and they get all the social services. Kamal, and since I brought it up, I figured I'd, I'd give a little enlightenment to the audience. Yeah, I mean, honestly, some of some of this stuff just kind of floors me. So I, I do want to backtrack for a second because you had mentioned that when uh, – Muslims come into the country, they're given a stipend. Where does that stipend come from? Well, the, when Kamal went to this king of Saudi Arabia and they demanded money, they were, they were getting the Saudi government to fund families to come to America, as well as other countries throughout the world, but prim primarily America, because he was it was his job to 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 to, to look at you know to, to commit jihad against America. He was here in America. I was he was he was doing so he had more direct knowledge I guess what was going on here than other places, but they 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 are they were they were subsidized to move because in order to he said Mike now why would you as a Muslim, want to go to a culture that is so against your religion, your customs, and your values, and live there, unless you want to take it over. Well, I mean, and the right? thing the thing about it is, we we hear that from people that are really high up in the Muslim movement, and they talk about the fact that they're not here to assimilate, they're not here to immigrate, they're they're basically they're colonizing, and they say these things. And nobody gotcha. believes them when they say them. Um, but we are up against a break, so we're going to take another really quick break, and we're going to continue the conversation here in just about two minutes. So don't go away. Well, I walk back down. No, I My son was in the Army back, back during down. Desert Storm. But even then, he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq. 
Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible. Affordable. Relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. All right, folks, welcome back. Sorry, we actually extended that break a little bit more than I'd anticipated, but I'm hearing such interesting things on the break. I had to give him an extra few seconds to try to finish up the story. All right, so we're back with my guest, Mike Velarde. Uh We've been actually talking about, well, we've been kind of all over the game, but we started talking about the uh, the shooting in Broward County area. Then we talked about the more recent one that he just found out about uh, today. And then, of course, we started shifting into one of his fields of expertise, which uh, involves uh, the Islamic takeover in both Europe and America. Now, I, I want to touch on something real quick, and then I'll uh, turn things back over to you. When we were on break a um, few minutes ago, you'd mentioned uh, a very particular thing that happens when folks of the Islamic faith move into Italy. I don't think any of my listeners have heard this before, so I want them to hear this from you, because that's kind of scary. Okay. I, I, have a, I have a cousin that moved to Italy uh, years ago, and she had and she had and she had, a, you know, she has kids that are that are now 19, 20 years old. I was at a Christmas party uh, with them this year, last year, you know, in seventeen. And one of the sons started telling me that what they do in Italy is when when Muslims come over from other countries, they give them a house, they give them a cell phone, and they give them money. And from Italy, they then go out to other parts of Europe and migrate to other parts of Europe. Now, here's what he said to me, which was very interesting. He says, you know, there's, there's, there's been no, you know, he said, Mike, you know, there's been no real terrorist attacks in Italy. 
I said, yeah, it's kind of funny. Why is that? He says, that's because we take care of them. We bring them over there. We give them what they need. And then from Italy, they, they leave to other parts of Europe. See, that's just, and, I, mean, uh, I mean, good for Italy, bad for the rest of the world. I'm just saying. <laughs> I just, uh, I'd, I don't know. To, to me, the idea of just, I, I, I can't imagine if I was an Italian citizen that I would be okay with perfect strangers moving into my country and being given a house, a phone, and some money when I had to work for all of those things. Every one of these nations is losing their identity. I mean... Look, you know, the, the the mayor of London is Muslim now. You have no-go zones in all these countries that like we were talking about before. France, Germany, England. They're no longer what they were 50 years ago. And and at the rate, at the way the, the, way the population rates are, you, you're going to see these countries taken over by 2050. They'll be all mostly Muslim nations. Now, of course, this ties into prophecy, Daniel 7.23, which is why I wrote the book, The Time of His Coming, because it, it explains the prophecies that, you know, like I said, are in the Bible and the Quran that explain what's happening and why. It's, it's, that's why I wrote it. I mean, it's an important book because most people don't understand. They have no concept of what's happening and why it's happening. So I, do me a favor. I want you to give out the title of the book one more time and then let folks know where they can find it because I'm probably about to go find it myself. <laughs> okay. It's called The Time of His Coming, and it's available at www.thetimeofhiscoming.com or Amazon. Just you, gotta put my, you can put my name in, and it'll come up, Michael Velardi, V-I-L-A-R-D-I, V-I-L-A-R-D-I, and it'll come, it'll come right up. So, and, and you will find that it's one of the most interesting reads you'll ever you'll ever see because it does it does explain in order and sequence all the events that the Book of Revelation talks about and explains why and you have the experience of living through it through people that are that are left here during that period of time when it when occur, when it occurs and these are kind of like the birth pangs you know you know this this migration of Europe with the Muslims is a fulfillment of prophecy in, in the Book of Daniel in Daniel seven twenty three and twenty four. So we're seeing it happen now, right before our eyes. You know, I, I've, you've, you're not the first person that I've heard that from, and it's something that I've kind of felt in my spirit that we are getting to the point now where we're starting to see, if nothing else, the very beginnings of things that were outlined in both the book of Daniel and the book of Revelations. I, I don't know what type of time frame we're dealing with, but I, I do feel pretty confident that we are starting to see the outer edges of some things that up until now have been way far off into the distance. I, I think we're a lot closer than we realize. And I think that's part of the reason yeah. why we have such a, a turning of our spirit in this country on such a mass level about the fact that nobody really cares about their fellow man anymore. And to me, you know, to take things full circle again for a second, that I honestly is, I think, one of the reasons why we find ourselves with incidents uh, of murder on the rise, whether it be through automatic weaponry, uh, knives, uh, Reg regular guns, what are uh, semi-automatic weaponry? Sorry, at that point I'm sounding almost as bad as a liberal. Um, but the the whole thing is, we can talk about the guns all day long. We can talk about the issue where we had police officers that failed to act all day long. Those are things that we can address. But we also have to focus on the rest of it, which is the fact that we have we we find ourselves in a world where where human life no longer matters. Nobody values human life anymore. I rem and part of that is because we ha we we are inundated now with such violence, and we see it everywhere. Like even through social media now, you can you can actually see people be stoned to death in other countries for violation of Sharia, and people watch that and they comment about it. But it's still something that they're let they they let soak into their spirit. We remember whether we can openly access it at, or not is irrelevant. We remember everything we ever see, read, or hear. So it is impacting us somewhere. And the fact that we let so much violence inundate our lives anymore by our own choice is astounding to me. And people are wondering why we have kids now turning guns on other kids. That's just me. Yeah, we, we, we've moved so far away from God as a country. Um, 
1789, George Washington went before Congress and gave glory to God for, for blessing this country and, and asked Congress for a day, Thanksgiving Day, the, the third Sunday of third Thursday or of every November, be granted as a holiday that we, so that we might give thanks to the, cre- the Creator for creating this great country. Now, can you imagine a, 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 a president going before Congress and asking for something like that today? Actually, I'll, I'll go one even. I'll go one even further today because I had a I had a thought today that I had to banish from my head, and I'm hoping this doesn't happen. But with the recent passing of Billy Graham within the last couple of days, I've heard that they are actually going to afford him an honor typically reserved to politicians or dignitaries once they've passed, and they're actually going to have him lie in state at the Capitol. I will bet you dollars to donuts that there's going to be some separation of church and state folks coming unglued when they find out this happens. I'm just saying. Yeah, but you know what? It's the right thing to do. He was he was the evangelist to many presidents from Eisenhower through Bush. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not disagreeing at all, but I can just imagine the blowback that's about to happen once everybody realizes that that's what's happening because that's just now starting to make it through the new cycle. So when it happens, I'm sure there will be a large public outcry from certain folks that have misunderstood the whole idea of separation of church and state. But on that note, folks, we've got to take the last break of the show, and then we'll have just about enough time to come back and make sure we give my guest time to give out his contact information, because believe it or not, we're just about out of time. So we're coming back to wrap up the show here in just a few minutes. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson, back in about three. was in the army back during Desert Storm, but even then he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq, Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, Think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree, too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible, affordable, relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's that's 800-783-0810.
Alright folks, welcome back. This is America Off The Rails. I'm your host Rick Rams, and well you guys know what that sound means. That means that we're just about out of time. I want to give my guest one last chance to give out contact information, website information, book information, whatever you want to give out, sir. All right. Uh, the book, thetimeofhiscoming.com, that's the website, thetimeofhiscoming.com. If you have an IRS issue, I was a criminal investigator for them for 22 years. I've helped a lot of people get out of an IRS situation. My website for that is Mike Velarde, E-A. That's M-I-K-E-V-I-L-A-R-D-I-E-A. Um, stands for enrolledagent.com. That'll redirect you to, uh, to another website where you'll see all my material. Uh, you can just Google me too um, and see um, you know, some of the other shows I've done and, and whatnot. So, uh, but the two main websites, thetimeofhiscoming.com and MikeVillardiEA.com. Thank you. All right, Mike, it's been my pleasure having you on. We'll get you set up to come on again as soon as possible. Uh, this is Rick Robinson. We are just about out of time for the night. want to remind you guys, we'll be back here in just a couple hours with the Friday edition of Robinson and Wright. So stay tuned. Also coming up next will be, um, well, not next, uh, but here in about an hour, we'll have Jess's Coffee Shop uh, as soon as I can get that edited because I'm behind this week because we've had power issues. But I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Take care. God bless. We'll see you when we see you. All right, and we are clear, sir.